Hello everybody, in this grasshopper video demo, I would like to show some generic processes pertaining to the splitting of curves. Okay, let's start. In this first scenario, I want to split this curve using this curve. Let's fire up grasshopper. The first thing we need to do, of course, is to associate the curves onto grasshopper. Okay, I'm going to do a right mouse click, set one curve, this, right mouse click, set one curve, to this, okay, and to get the intersection information, we can use the intersect physical, this one, okay, use this one, the curve to curve intersection, and then uh, curve A, in this case is this, I'm going to connect to this input socket curve B to this input socket okay and the next node that we need to put in is a generic node for the splitting of curve and that is the shatter node so I'm going to put this in and I'm going to connect uh, as I'm going to split this curve so I'm going to connect this to here and you notice that there is a parameter called parameters that is required and from here you can see that we have three outputs the points parameters a and parameters b okay so a pertaining to curve a see click here so pertaining to curve a so um the the parameter that is required for our case right is this params a okay so you can connect this to here and let's hover over here you can see that we have two um, planar curve being created okay and in order to select the required curve we can use a list item plug this here as we only have um two selection we can create a number slider with 0 and 1 as the options so I'm going to do that now 0 1 okay so uh, this is index 0 and if I scrub this here I get 1 so yeah this is the way to like pick the the desired um, resultant splitter curve so this is scenario 1 and let me uh, delete this stuff and proceed to scenario 2 okay in the second scenario I want to divide this curve up into equal segments and to do that I can use the divide curve okay I'm gonna plug this here maybe let's set the count to be something like like uh, 6 okay I'm gonna plug this here and Again, we got to use the generic curve splitting node, which is shatter. Okay, so this connects to this, and you can see over here we got this parameter as well. So this parameter connects to this, and in a similar fashion, we got to use the this item again. to select the required segment okay so um let's see over here we got we got six right so so it's from uh, zero to five okay make sure it's set to integer connect this here and yeah you can see by scrubbing the slider we can select the required segment okay yeah okay let me uh, proceed to the last scenario in the last scenario we want to split a curve into two segments based on proportion and to do that we can use something like point on curve okay so I'm going to connect this here and you can see we got a point that is directly at the middle section 
Okay, so um, what this point curve does is that it parameterizes the curve and placing one end as zero and the other end as uh, one. Okay, see zero, zero and the other end is one. So um, by scrubbing this slider indicator, you can determine the position to put the the point okay and if you want a precise placement you can do a right mouse click and let's say I want to place the point at one third of the length and click here and you can get the point to be placed out one third of the entire length and let's put the shatter in again as it's a generic node for splitting curve okay now I'm going to connect this here but you notice that we don't have any parameter output so how do I resolve this a way to resolve this is to use the curve closest point or okay curve closest point uh, no okay put this here and then connect this curve to here okay to this input socket and then this point right uh, we connect to here and yeah you can see over here we got this parameter okay so you can connect this here and in a similar fashion we can use the list item again to specify the segment that we want to use okay so click this here and again Put the number slider. Yeah. Okay. With that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.